Okay, so um, welcome to the Zoom conference call again. Um, this is actually to recognise top achievers in the month of April, April 2018. And I just wanted to recognise um, some awesome people and their work. So here we go, let's have a look. So, and um, firstly, I want to recognise, um, here she is, uh, recognise Sarah Dunford. Sarah Dunford on achieving a senior team leader in the month of April. Um, she's obviously a mini owner doing this in her spare time. Um, she works for the fire brigade. Um, also top achievers in April, Stuart Edmondson, um, top customer gatherer with 30 eligible services, closely followed by Mark Huber and Steve Henderson. Karen Nick Vint, Debbie Harrington, Rob Evans, and many, many more. Um, top recruiters, Mark Cousins, Kerry Robinson, Werner and Anne-Marie. Mark Dillaware, who I spoke to today, a uh, policeman by chance, actually. Rob Evans again, and Steve Henderson. And then we have uh, top team leader, Natalie Oates. Well done, Natalie. Senior team leader, Sarah Dunford. Um, top group leader, Barry, uh, sorry, Barry, Becky and Larry Russon. Top senior group leader, Lisa Ware. Well done, Lisa. Good to see you back on top again. And top business customer gatherer, Darren Davies. So um, talking about top achievers and who's been doing what, I want to invite to the Zoom conference call a very good friend and um, a hard worker. And um, he's a policeman, works in London, um, for this month for recruiting, awesome customer gatherer, um, Rob Evans. Hello, Rob. Are you there? There you are. Sorry, Rob, broke up. Can you say that again, that last bit? <laughs> say that. It totally broke. Top achiever, uh, top recruiter, major customer gatherer. You're a policeman in London. You're doing this in your spare time. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, yeah. Um, working 12-hour shifts in the police. Um, that is my why. I don't want to work 12-hour shift in the police anymore. I don't want to work in the police at all. Um, it takes me, I allow two hours each way to get to work, so my working day is basically 16 hours. But I work for four days when I get four days off. And on my days off, I just try and make sure that I've got at the very, very least either appointments or winning minis. Wow, okay, so um, you've gathered um, a couple of distributors last month. You've also gathered um, quite a few Daffy Gold customers. So firstly, how did you get the customers? Where did you get them from? And what sort of money are you going to pick up from that as well? With the exception of two of them, um, I, I signed seven Daffy homeowners last month. Um, two of them were people who have been on my warm list for, well, since I started the business. Um, and all the others are from winning minis at Wybell Garden Centre. Wow, so seven Daffy Gold customers. So that's going to give you a nice paycheck? It's going to pay me virtually what I get paid full-time as a sergeant in the police. Wow, uh, I presume a sergeant in the police um, is a fairly decent salary nowadays. Um, okay, so the garden centre, you said the Wyville Garden Centre, you did a win and mini. So hang on, you're working fairly full time as a police officer, a sergeant, sorry, uh, in the police. How are you fitting in win and minis as well? I mean, it's, and you obviously got a partner at home and a, a family to look after. How are you doing all this? But it's only three hours. A win and mini slot is, is typically three hours long. Um, it doesn't take a whole day to go down and, and, and be at a win and mini stand. I don't class being on a win and mini as working. Um, it's it's social, it's fun, you're chatting to people that um, maybe you haven't seen for a long time, people you catch up with from, um, maybe you've been on holidays with them, maybe you meet them at the um, Pizza Tuesdays. It's social, so I actually enjoy going down and doing a winning mini with other people um, in the network. How, how do you find out about the winning minis and, uh, and how do you get them organised? Do you organise them or do you kind of jump onto other people's winning minis or...? Mixture of both. Um, Danielle um, organises at Wybell Garden Centre down near us in Ramsgate. Uh, we also jump on the back of quite a few winner minis, um, Wix winner minis, um, cross team. So Hannah Will Grover's team. You've got Alex Roberts, who's um, building a phenomenal business right now down in, um, in Kent. Um, we team up with them, uh, the likes of um, Caroline Taylor. Um, and her team. So we, we all we all work together. We've got quite a large WhatsApp group now with dozens and dozens of participants in it, um, and it's all based on um, different winner mini groups. 
Fantastic. And obviously, we've got the Winning Mini Facebook page. So um, if people aren't familiar with some of these leaders, they can go on the Winning Mini Facebook page or add themselves to that and find out about more Winning Mini. So seven customers, Daffy Gold customers last month. Um, how many appointments did you make? How many people blew you out? Because not everyone's going to say yes. And can you give us an idea, Rob? Loads. I would probably say I've not worked out um, exactly. Um, but I would say if I got seven Daffy Golds this month, I probably made about 14 appointments to get those seven Daffy Golds. Out of those 14 Daffy Gold, uh, 14 appointments, um, several of them um, will have cancelled. Probably, um, yeah, probably a good five or six would have cancelled. Um, but the, the conversion rate, I'll be honest, this month, those appointments that I sat at, there was only one or two um, who didn't wish to proceed at this time. Um, but they're certainly on my to go back uh, go back to later list. Fantastic! So a really good conversion rate. Um, why do you think that is? I'm just so confident. I'm just so. I, I think I, I say it so many times. Going to Express Day, um, it just gives me so such a buzz. Um, listening to Andrew telling us about the new cashback card. For me now, it's it's a no brainer. Uh, it, it already was a no brainer. But when you never have to pay anything full price for anything ever again with your cashback card. It just gives you so much posture. When you go into an appointment and you say to people, how do you like the idea of never having to pay full price for anything ever again? And you're like, what? You get cashback on absolutely every single spend with this new cashback card. Would that benefit you? And like, sounds too good to be true. There you go. Yeah, um, the cashback card excited me as well. I said a lot of people, I think, 1% off all your shopping regardless. So whether you're down the pub, the hairdressers, or whatever, you'll get the money off. So it's, as you said, it's a no-brainer. Um, and then it comes off your gas, extra bill, et cetera. Okay, so um, Rob, you're a policeman. Why are you doing this? For exactly that reason, because I'm a policeman. I don't want to be a policeman. <laughs> I, I love doing this business. This is my passion. Um, yeah, why am I still a policeman? That is a question you should be asking me, What? not why am I doing this? Okay, well, let's let's make sure you're earning a, a sensible income out of this before you start quitting your day job, but yeah. So, um, um, top tip for anyone listening to this Zoom call today, top tip. Right, win a mini training. Um, win a mini training, Craig Casey training. Um, get onto it as often as you can, it's completely free. Um, travel as far as it takes to get there. Um, associate with people who are, are doing the business yeah. um, and, and try to work with them. Um, cross team, work cross team with people, buddy up with somebody um, and just enjoy it. You've got to enjoy it because if you're not enjoying yourself at a table, at a mini mini table, it's not going to be nine out of 10 people that walk past you. It's going to be nine of 99 out of 1,000 people who go walking past you. I try and work on the ratio of every one in 10 people but I make eye contact with at a winning mini stand will come over and talk to me and that's good enough for me and just have a laugh enjoy yourself fantastic Smile. not many people would give a policeman eye contact would they I suppose they were kind of duck dive and disappear <laughs> um, so yeah so positive outlook keep smiling get good eye contact build the rapport and the appointments are no brainer isn't it Save just say to people but I think what people think when they catch you with a corner of their eyes and walking past you they automatically assume as would I that you're trying to sell them something. When you try and say to them, listen, you're gonna love this. Don't walk out of that door, come and see what I've got to show you. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. I'm not selling you anything. When you explain to them, you're gonna go around and see them, it's not gonna cost them anything, and you're gonna make them better off financially as a result. And all it's gonna cost you is a cup of tea. And then I say to them, I'll bring around your biscuits. What are your favorite biscuits? <laughs> Just have a laugh with people. Just have a laugh with people and you'll get so many appointments. Love it, Rob. Love it. Love it. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Well done on last month. Top recruiter with other many people as well. Um, awesome customer gatherer. Um, I presume you're on track for the holiday and other things as well. So again, thank you very much. Thank you for giving up your time. Sorry to disturb you at work and um, go back to your day job. Hey. Um, don't be too happy in your day job, okay? <laughs> yeah, people do actually wonder why I'm always happy at work. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Rob. Have a good one. Cheers, Rob. See you later. Bye.